just here taking a walk down our old property. Oh no! Someone knocked down our mailbox. How rude. Wow, somebody really knocked down our mailbox. Like that is hit. Hit hard. Hey, what's up everybody? John from Old Riding Farm here. Thanks for joining us. In today's video, we found out that our old property had a little bit of a problem where somebody took out our entire mailbox. And we had, you know, our mailbox and a 4x4 with our sign on it. So clearly someone was not paying attention. So we replaced it with this. So I know this doesn't look like much, but this right here is a nice red cedar log from our new house. We have a bunch of red cedar on our property and I've always wanted to do something with it. So it's kind of nice that we were finally able to do that. Let me show you how we picked out the right log. All right, so now I'm here on our property and I'm gonna harvest some of the cedar for the post. So we have a ton of it laying around, um, but I actually took down one tree a couple weeks ago that I think looks pretty cool. It is dead, but it's cedar, so it lasts forever. So even if we just get a couple years out of this, I'd be happy. Especially because someone keeps knocking down our mailbox, man. I mean, it happened a couple uh, years ago, maybe it was last year, where I had to repair it when a plow truck hit it when there was no snow. Explain that one to me. But anyway, so it's a little early, so sorry neighbors, but this, should, this shouldn't go too long. So let me just show you the tree real quick. And I have a couple options over here. We have a ton of cedar on our property, but for some reason it just doesn't stay alive. So let's see. All right, so this is one of my options right here. You can see it is dead um, and like all the bark is gone but it's still a big, strong tree. So that's one option. And then I have a couple others over here. So these I took down. This one, I'm actually, I'm actually wondering if this will be a better one, but I don't know if we'll be able to get it out. So this one still has the bark on it. That's actually a pretty good look. Maybe I'll go with this one. I think I just need to move some of this stuff. All right. So before I go and cut that up and bring it up there, I am just going to let all of our chickens out. So as you can see over here, we are almost done with the chicken village. We just need uh, one more latch for the outside door and uh, some welded wire to do the skirt on the outside and then we are done. Which is a really exciting feeling because this has been a huge project. Um, you know, and it's taken a lot of time. Ah. taken a lot of time to do and so it's nice to finally be like you know done so right now I'm just letting all of our chickens out and we'll feed them and everything when we get back these are our Morans I actually laid an egg for the first time yesterday so hopefully more to come and the next next we have my favorite which are the silkies through and so we also went in and we separated our um, Polish so now we have all of our buff laced in one we have like our crevacore separated I think they're actually <laughs> I think they're actually in this one and it's gonna be maybe maybe I'll do a little compilation of all the rooster crows it gets crazy noisy in here in the morning so here's our crevacore you can see this guy right here is our rooster I believe I think we have two roosters in here actually there's that guy right there with the waddle and I'm hoping that this guy with the anime haircut is a rooster anyway we go on
They all start riling each other up. Yeah. Here's our silked white Easter eggers. The only ones that are actually <laughs> bringing in any money at the moment. But, right. And so here's our white crested black Polish chickens. So they're getting a little, they're getting a little antsy all in here together. Um, and so you can see there's one they were picking on his hairdo. It should be much better now that they're all separated. I think everyone's gonna be much happier. Okay, so this is the one that we're missing a latch. And even though there's more coops to open, they're actually much easier to put away at night. These are our Ayam Samanis. We've got Mr. Rooster. Our hen is right behind him. And then a bunch of little babies. And I'm sorry if you can't hear me over the resounding noise of 10,000 roosters. That's Simon. Okay. Here's our silked white Easter egg or babies. Juveniles. All right. We come over here. And so. Let's see. Here's our Buff Orpington, Black Americana, and Bard Rocks. <laughs> Let it fly, guys. And then in here, we have our last set of silkies. Then come over here. Uh. <laughs> yeah. Here's Norman and his flock. What a ragtag group this is. <laughs> But so it's actually pretty nice, you know, even though we have 13 chicken coops over here, it took less than five minutes to let everybody out. And it probably takes maybe 10 minutes to put everybody away. So like, I'm pretty proud of this overall design. Um, originally we were going to put Norman's coop right where I'm standing, which would have been a complete pain in the butt. Um, but you know, we talked about it, we planned it really well. Um, and so now we have this nice little hallway. Um, so all of the, this is all wrapped. So even if, if somebody gets out, they're going to be, you know, stuck in here on something that has three sides. So it's secure, it's strong, um, and it's as efficient as humanly possible with 13 chicken coops. All right, so now I'm going to try to cut this log up and I'll be right back. All right, so I'm going to go with this one that still has the bark on it because I think that'll be the coolest. So I just put it up on a little stick so that when I cut it, it has a joint. So that it'll roll the right way. And then hopefully I can carry it up to the top. Now, uh, for mailboxes in our state, the they need to be 41 to 45 inches from the ground and then six to eight inches from the street. So I'm just making sure that I cut this like six feet um, so that I have enough to bury it and it's at the right height. And actually it'll be good to do it a little bit high, a little bit taller, so then I can just cut it to the right height once it's sunk. There's the idea. All right, here we go. Also, weird side note, I wish I could live in this cedar. It is so cool. I don't know if this comes across on camera, but like check out that sawdust. And just the color on the interior of this log, so cool. All right, 
So now I'm going to load this up and I'm going to head down, uh, fix the mailbox. Let's go. Okay, so in addition to my post hole digger, I have brought a shovel and this pick, which will be good for getting rocks out of holes. Also, I wasn't able to carry the log and the chainsaw up, so I'll have to grab that on my way up. I guess I'm not as strong as I thought. So I was actually able to get the main post out pretty easy. Must not have used cement. So Catherine's on her way. She's going to bring me some cement, and uh, we'll get this thing. Okay, so apparently I didn't sink these posts in concrete, which was actually good because it made my job easier now. So I'm going to go grab my post hole digger and start digging. I'm not sure how deep I'll have to go, but probably pretty deep. No problem at all to lift up and carry over on one shoulder. I mean, it's all mailbox. Yeah, you know, figured give the post office something to reach for. <laughs> no shade, post office. So I had always been told that you should mix concrete and something other than the hole you're going to put it in until I saw Marty Rainey on Homestead Rescue do it and he said it gets stronger doing it this way. Trusting in Marty Rainey. Yeah, what would Marty Rainey do? Time to wake up the neighborhood. So it's only like 8 o'clock in the morning and Catherine's already sick of me. So I'm going to try to make this quick. It's going to be a long Sunday. Let's see if... <laughs> like the Wonky Wheel Express. Get the job done. Just a little different than everybody else. Those legitimate apples. Oh! oh. <laughs> Try an upper one. Mm. 
I'm still gonna try it. I'm afraid of a little bug. Oh, oh, it's delicious. Is it? Mm-hmm. Try it. Oh, it's so good. Yum. Mm. Take a bigger bite. All right. Hell yeah. Look at these little balls. Alright, thank you guys very much for watching this video. We really appreciate it. Leave us a comment, let us know what you think, give this video a like, and please subscribe. We put out new videos on Mondays and Fridays and we go live every Wednesday at 7 p.m. Eastern time. So make sure you stop by and say hello next time. We'd love to chat. Thanks for watching.